Jensen, Joel Matic, Mo Salah, all previously maybe doubts. How are they looking? In terms of, of history and passion, there's very few, if any, to rival this fixture, I think, in, in English footballing history. Um, and yet Liverpool's record, certainly the Premier League era at Old Trafford, isn't that great? You have never won there with Liverpool yet. So how confident are you that your, your team and your squad are now in a position where you maybe can start to change that? I never really struggled with confidence, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know for which reason, but um, so, but I'm not sure how I'm never before a game. That's how it is. I'm quite optimistic that we have a chance. That's pretty much what we have before each other game as well. Um, history in this case is not really important, but gives a, gives you for sure a little sign because we like to create and use atmosphere in our stadium, the Anfield, it's, which is uh, incredibly helpful. But Old Trafford is not too bad. Um, as well in that department, and so I'm sure they are all on their toes. They are ready. They wait for us. They're waiting for. They said it. Uh, they said that we are the perfect opponent now. But these are all things you can see like this, of course, but you don't have to see. So um, I don't think there are a lot of teams who would love to play against us in the moment. It looks like Man United is the only one who wants us, wants to play us, and we have to make sure that that is a misunderstanding. But it's um, it's just. Um, normal. I would I would do the same, exactly the same. In a in a in a if the situation would be the other way around. Um, yeah, this is the game. We can change the world. That's exactly how how I would prepare it. And so why shouldn't Ole do that? And I can see that. But the history, our stats, absolutely have, have nothing to do with that. When we build it up as the biggest rivalry in English football, Jurgen, how much do you enjoy these kind of occasions? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <coughs> the salt in the soup. So, um, no, it's really great. It's great. Um, how it all, most, I think we spoke about similar things a couple of times here in the press conference. The only thing you would love to prepare a game like this with a, a full week at least, or if, if you want two weeks, whatever. And, and, but so it is. We, we are, now we have had the international break for both teams, the same situation. The players from the international duties, they came all back healthy, which is very, very important. Um, and so we had now three, four days with the full squad to, to prepare it, which is even a little bit comfortable at least, and I don't have only two days. Or, so, so um, no, I, I, I love it. But it's the, the talk, you see, even the press conference is sold out. So it's um, for you obviously very exciting as well. And um, all the things around, all the... Um, the stats, the old stats, whatever, that's all um, an information or something. At the end, we have to play football. We, have, we'll, we will fight 100%, but we have to play football as well. And um, hopefully we can do that. So that's, that's all what I'm concerned about, what I want to see. And um, this kind of mix between outstanding attitude and really brave football. So that's what we have to try. But um, with all the things you wrote about them or uh, said about them in the last few weeks, um, they are not. They don't have any influence on, on on that game. It just makes them more desperate to change the situation, and that's yeah. They will try that 100 percent, but we will try to um, improve our situation, and so we will see who wants it more. Expectation outside of both clubs is that Liverpool should <coughs> win. It should be relatively straightforward <coughs> in the position that Manchester United are in. When does that kind of expectation outside of outside of the club? How how do you how do you deal with that internally and make sure that you put more on your guard, for, it, for instance? Ignoring. This game is so easy. Not the, not a game against United, the game what everybody else around play. Uh, it's so easy. I really I said it to you on, on, on Sky when you made a combined lineup huh? and you had 11 players of Liverpool in. That's like, uh, that's, um, it's like a joke. It's like uh, building a banana, uh, a banana skin. 
So that's what everybody wants to see. We are the world in a moment is a circus. We are in the in the center. A couple of people want us to win. A couple of people want us to lose. Can inf can have influence on yourself or not? I'm not influenced by it, to be honest. I'm 100% aware of the strength of, of of Manchester United. I expect their best possible lineup. Um, four days ago, I think Ole said no chance for De Gea and Pogba. Today it's a maybe. Tomorrow it's a show, it's a 100%. Um, Marcel will be back. All that stuff. That's how all these games are played. So um, no problem with that. But at the end, um, I'm old enough. We are experienced enough to to judge all the things in the right way. We have to be very, very lively. We have to be emotional as much as allowed. We have to be uh, fluent. We have to be very clear in a lot of moments, and we have to respect their their strength, and that's what we do. This is a really good football side. It's a really good football team, and um, what they have there in a situation which they don't like, so they want to change it, and we have to make sure that they. If they want to change it, they have to start with that a week later. That's all. Um, Jürgen, then, from your, from your experience, just reflecting on that, just how intense is it to go to Old Trafford? Uh, Premier League games, all of them are really intense. So it's like the, the, the build-up is, is always pretty similar. It depends a little bit to the, to the um, kick-off time, but that's it. You have sometimes more time when you play at night and, and, and lesser time when you play at 12, but that's all. It's, it's always this kind of build-up, build-up, and intensity grows and grows and grows, and then first whistle and go for it. So the, the, the things around, I, I wouldn't have really realized the difference to other games if here would not be like 500 people in the room. So um, for me, it's it's the same preparation um, with the specific things we have to be prepared, um, which they do. So um, whatever they do, we have to be prepared for that, and that's what we try. But um, the, the the other things are not more different. It's all about the, the, the fuss is around us. We are not that much involved. Um, we we know, we feel it. Um, but that's the positive, the positive part of um, excitement. We are really looking forward to play that game. And if somebody tells us we never won there since I'm in or whatever, I wouldn't have known because I don't think about these things. But yeah, then let's try it at least for the first time, really. And um, if we don't, if we cannot win, then let's perform in the best possible way. And if they beat us then, then congratulations. So that's how it is. So that's what we try to do. We are not. Nervous because of the winning streak um, and the history we could make. We don't. We don't think really. We are pretty relaxed, but very, very ambitious as well. Yeah, and if you look at, um, yeah. Sorry, you can't yeah. Up, not no. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just the um, If you look at the way Man United have, have started this season, I think everybody's expecting an improvement sooner rather than later. And one of their summer signings, Daniel James, has already made an impact. And given his speed, and he's very direct, and the expansive way that you play with your fullbacks, that could be, you know, he's a, he's a problematic player for you. How, how I said, I expect. Well, Daniel's a really good player, absolutely. But um, how I said, I expect actually um, um, all the speed they have. I expect Marshall, Marshall back, Rashford, and James on the pitch, though. So. Um, and um, so that means that all the shows, they all have a real speed, they all have um, real quality and all that stuff. And if, if Marshall cannot play, then you know exactly the, the same about um, Rashford and, and, and James, for example. And they will build around. So that, that's it. It's just um, they had, it's not my job to talk about it, but um, it's not easy for Ole to talk about it. They had a lot of injuries. And injuries are then always you think somebody is the reason for it or, what, or, 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 or not. But it's, it's not like this. It's like they had these injuries coincidentally, I would say, so the number of, and uh, um, really decisive players for them. And nobody can, can, can play the same kind of football when five or six of your first lineup players are out. That's just not. not no, you cannot play the same football. You can maybe get the same results if the mood is different, but you cannot play the same football. And um, so that's what was difficult for them. That will change at one, one moment. Then, unfortunately, probably other teams will have injuries and then they have to deal uh, with that. Um, that's how a season is. And um, you have to come through these periods. They came through. So um, 
I don't follow it, but um, for me it looks like they could prepare in the right way. So it's not, um, um, it's still a lot of discussions around, but I don't think that uh, that many discussion inside. So they could focus on the on training and, this, and, uh, and preparing the game. And that's what we have to face and um, not how other people judge their start or whatever. But um, they had good signs, good good moments, all that stuff, and they lost in the last minute or something like that, missed a penalty, in, in a, that's all, that's unlucky, nothing else. And um, you need momentum in a, in a game and in a season as well. And so far they probably didn't have it, but that doesn't mean they will never get it back. So um, we respect them as the best United, Man United we, can, we could face, and not the Man United you all speak about um, during the week. If you look at the last couple of league games, you know, the late winner against Leicester and uh, Sheffield United similarly, and maybe you haven't been at your fleet flowing best in terms of creating chances. How useful is that as a reference point for the rest of the season, you know, that you've, you've had to dig really deep and you know, the belief has still been there and you've got the late goals? Yeah, this kind of... that we've. So it, it, it sounds like from now on we will always call eight goals if needed. It's not like this, but we, we did it. So it's not now a given for the rest of our lives. Um, you have to work for that. I I really like the Leicester game, and I, I didn't I didn't understand when people spoke afterwards about it that that we that we didn't deserve to win. We were lucky with the moment uh, when we when we got the penalty. That's true, um, but not. The game was 100% uh, Liverpool game. We had chances, more chances than Leicester conceded until then. So in any other game, so we could have scored, we could have finished that off. Leicester had nothing to do with the game until we were a bit tired after playing during, in the week against a very intense game against Salzburg, stuff like which Leicester didn't have. They had a lot of quality, but we played really well and we deserved to win. It was not that it was like lucky, wow, how could they win that game? And um, so we are in a, the boys were before the international break in a really good, in a really good uh, shape. Can we play better? Yes, of course. Um, but um, first and foremost, you have to you have to, to to play as good as you can in the moment, and that's always influenced by by, by different things. It's opponent, it's a, your own situation, it's the last game, it's the next game, maybe whatever. But um, you have to play as good as you can, and we did that that day, um, creating chances. Yeah, not using them, but being really in the right areas and all that stuff. So I like the game a lot, especially the start of the game. I liked a lot, and um, so. But that's that's over now, and um, we really we don't rely on winning a game without performing because I really think the boys performed so far. We had a similar discussion last year when we started playing slightly different. Not that what is it? Free flowing offensively, scoring five six goals, and everybody then told me, oh, "Where's where has that gone?" And then we played one of the best seasons, or the best season in my in my career. Um, it's just building on 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 things and and making the next step. But you have to have to cannot make these steps in the summer in a preseason where nobody's there. You just can't do it. So we, we, we I cannot call the boys and say, by the way, today we we worked on that. Um, think a little bit about it, and it will be better than that as well. That doesn't work. And um, so we have to do it in a season. That's what we are doing in the moment. We are not perfect. Um, but we are working on getting better, and that's um, what worked out kind of so far. And um, now, next challenge, really good opponent in a difficult situation. So that's the next challenge for us, and we have to make sure that we are ready for that as well. Thank you. you spoke earlier <laughs> you spoke about um, Solskjaer playing games with who's injured, who's not injured. Um, in terms I didn't of say he plays games. No, no, no. Maybe they improved overnight. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I'm just wondering, from a manager's point of view, is there is there any advantage in, in sort of in those mind games, those psychological things before a game? Is there any occasion where you think it's actually helped? No, it's a, it's a. The lesser your the opponent manager knows about your lineup, the better it is. So that's an advantage. So I, I'm four years in England. It's still it's still for me really strange how less you know about um, you know about if a player's fit or not. In Germany, we have we allow the press like I think four or five times a week to watch training. So if a guy's not in training, uh, you, you, if, that would mean you have to work really. Imagine getting every morning up and stuff like that, going to training, it's bad weather there as well, so it's not too nice. But So it means you cannot hide anything. It's not that you can say, oh, maybe he can play, but he can't play and stuff like this, and everybody knows it. Um, he can play, but he didn't train five days in a row, so that doesn't work. So here, 
it's always like, oh, when you see the lineup, interesting. I thought he is, I thought he has a broken leg or whatever. So, um, but now he's back. Um, that's it. So yes, it's not a mind game. It's just part of the preparation. That's it. Can I ask you um, on on Trent? Um, obviously, his development. You've seen we've seen his development over the years. You must have seen something in him when you you threw him in at Old Trafford for his first start that time. What did you see in him? <coughs> The things he's showing now, I saw that it, yeah, that he's that it's possible for him to be a proper a proper um, Premier League player, and um, yeah, I saw signs of that, and um, now he 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 worked really hard on it that uh, he can show that, and it's uh, by the way, being in a in a, what is the Guinness Book of of a record, it's unbelievable as a footballer. I don't know how that's possible, but. We played that game already for a while, and he he, he prepared more the most goals ever in the history of football as a defender. That's just incredible, another incredible achievement. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. But okay, I didn't see that that day before we uh, when he been in the But I was full of trust and faith. I, I remember um, the walk we had, and when I told him that he will play, he didn't look too surprised. To be honest, so he not that he expected it, but he was not too nervous. So uh, don't remember the game really, but um, it was the first step for him and um, very important step for us as well. Yeah, Jürgen. Uh, after 29 games in, at Liverpool in the Premier League, you had more or less the same record as Ole has now in Manchester United. He actually has two points more, but there's a lot of talk around his, his job, his position. Do you feel like he deserves more time, respect, uh, patience? What, what do you think about his position right now? To be 100% honest, I have no clue about his position, really. That's it, because it's not important what you are writing, whatever. It's more important what the board is telling him, what um, uh, Ed Woodward is telling him, what the uh, Glazer family is telling him. I have no clue. So, yes, you have, you have nothing. I don't have an opinion about that. You can, I, 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 I want every manager in the world to have as much time as he can get to, to, to bring through his ideas and stuff like this, but you never can compare situations. Our situation when I came in, their situation now, it's a Man United is a massive club. It's a massive club and nobody's really ready to wait for success. It was in my case not different. Um, if you would have asked after these first 29 games, all the people here in the room who are more often here than you are from Norway, uh, I don't think there was like a 100% um, agreement that I'm the perfect manager for Liverpool anymore after 29 games. So that's how the situation is. We have to live with that. He has to live with that. Um, if there's any doubt internally, it would have it would be bad. Um, if, as long as it's only externally, pff, that's not important really. Yeah, but you had similar situations as the Solskjaer in the beginning in Liverpool. Uh, do, do you have uh, any advice for him? <laughs> <laughs> you really think you can fly over from Norway and uh, ask me that question? <laughs> wow. No, he doesn't need. He doesn't need. It's, 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 uh, come on, he's in that club uh, altogether for like, I don't know, 10, 15 years. I don't know how long he was there as a player. He knows everything there. He has ex made, made his experience in, 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 as a manager in football. I know people think um, sometimes that a manager has to manage like Real Madrid before he can take over Barcelona or whatever, that you, that you know how it works on that level. But that's, of course, not, not the truth. Um, it's um, really... He knows what he has to do. It just has to work out. That's how it is for all of us. Um, that's why so many managers get the sack at one point. If some people internally lose the patience, then we have to go. Um, but you never can compare these situations. And um, I don't think that they are too famous to uh, make like quick, nervous decisions on that position. So they didn't have to in the last 20 years. Uh, now they had to change it one or two or three times. I don't know exactly. That's how it is. But um, yeah, I, from, from my point of view, it looks like he's, he's settled there. They, have, they, they, it was, they all knew it will be a difficult job to do uh, because we don't 
nobody lose against you because you are Liverpool or because you are Man United. It's about the, 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 the things you do on the pitch. And, uh, but on the other side, they are all on their toes and, and uh, really motivated when you come there and have the big name. Um, so that's part of the big challenge we all face. And um, yeah, but I don't think we have to. You have to worry about Ole. He's in a in a good position and has the chance to win at the weekend a game. And we want to make sure that uh, that will not happen. That's it. Hi, Arjen. Um, it's been a long time since there's been such a big gap between Liverpool and Man United. If you look at league positions, but people also say that you know form <coughs> goes out the windows in these particular clashes. In your opinion, how much is it to that saying? It's a little bit like that, that because of the build-up and all that stuff, that sometimes it's just a, like a big pressure game and everybody tries to make sure that nobody doubts him attitude-wise, stuff like this. But thank God the times when um, pretty much each kind of challenge was allowed in a game like this um, are over, to be honest, because that was really dangerous in a lot of moments when I watched these games like 10, 15 years ago and um, nowadays pundits kicked each other over or off the ground actually so um, that was really uh, strange um, but yeah it's that's why I said we have to fight for each yard and we have to play football so that's the mix we have to we have to find and um, and moment two days before the game I think we have a good chance to find that balance um, but we have to show that on Sunday yeah?